We are previewing the upcoming NBA playoffs here with Jordan Sharp, who's been uh, giving us winning picks for the uh, TNT uh, games on Thursday nights in the NBA all season long. And so very eager to hear what he has to say. We just got finished uh, previewing the East. Now we're going to look at the West. Now the West is, is, is interesting. I really want to know what you have to say about it because the West involves the Spurs, which is a team that kind of like baffles my brain. I mean, you know, they, they have, you know, old players, which you think might wear down a little bit at the end, but they're repeatedly a double digit favorite and they've won. They seem to win game in and game out the Spurs I just I knew they were doing well against the spread on the year but look at this the Spurs on the year 42 20 and 3 against the spread on the year and over their last 45 games they've been 33 9 and 3 against the spread now that is freaking amazing right I mean Pete, come on. Pete the Spurs are so undervalued and have been so undervalued on the season it has absolutely baffled my mind I can't tell you how many tickets I've cashed on the Spurs being undervalued this season and it comes to the fact of this and exactly the point that you just made. People think they're old. After Tim Duncan and Manu Ginobili and Tony Parker, this team is incredibly young. This team averages under the age of 25 without those three. And it, lest we not forget, Tony Parker is only 29 years old. People just write, wrote this team off immediately after they lost to the Grizzlies last year in the playoffs. Right. They came back and reminded everyone, with a force how good of a team they are i cannot stress to you how much i really like the spurs this year in the playoffs all right, so they're plus 183 to win the West. But uh, Oklahoma City is actually the slight favorite, according to Pinnacle. They're plus 162 to, uh, to win the West, and they were 35-31 and 31 against the spread on the year. Uh, do you think Oklahoma City should not be the favorite to win the West? No, absolutely not. The Thunder seem to be the favorites right now, and for this simple reason, teams in the West have a lot of trouble stopping Russell Westbrook and Kevin Durant both at the same time. We've seen it time and time again with the Lakers this season. I mean, the, they have just destroyed the Lakers. And – the Thunder being the favorites, it doesn't surprise me. I mean, they lost in the Western Conference Finals last year, but they won't have Dallas to worry about this year. I think Dallas has a first round out this year. Mm -hmm. But it really is, I mean, if the East is between Miami and Chicago, you could say that the West is between the Thunder and the Spurs. But in the West, it's a lot different than the East because I think the West is just absolutely wide open this year. I think the West is going to be incredibly hard to handicap this this um, these playoffs because there's going to be so much – just unknown. I mean, even with the 1-8 matchup between Utah and San Antonio that's coming up, I think that's, I mean, you might be able to find some value on the Jazz in the first round. It's just going to be so wide open. I think there might even be a couple of just big time upsets. So you don't think the Spurs are just going to steamroll over the West the way they've steamrolled over all their spreads uh, during the regular season then? If you look at it, the way the playoffs are set up in the West, they're going to have Utah in the first round. I think they're easily going to beat Utah. I think Utah will probably win a game, possibly even two games. But the Spurs are going to win against the first round. But then, if all goes to plan with what I think it's going to be, and Memphis continues in this four slot, they're going to run up against those Grizzlies once again. I think the Spurs have the best chance of all the eight teams in the West, but I really think that there's going to be a lot of upsets, and there's going to be a lot of nail-biting in the West right. this year. All right, and then just quickly, the Lakers, you know, marquee team. They're 28-37 and 37 against the spread on the year. Not a surprise. They tend to be a little bit overvalued every year. Uh, do you think they might come out of nowhere and surprise? I mean, Kobe's Kobe, right? They have the ability to do that, Pete. I mean, you're right. Kobe is still Kobe, and Kobe is, you know, vying – you know, he, he's sitting out tonight, so he's not going to get that scoring title, but he's my pick for the MVP this year. But the problem with the Lakers is I just don't think they have quite enough to be able to compete with the Thunder or the Spurs in a seven-game series, and here's why. The Thunder match up very well against the Lakers' bigs with, um, with Kendrick Perkins and uh, Serge Ibaka. Those guys are able to play pretty good defense on Pau Gasol and Andrew Bynum. And with the, the Spurs, I mean, they're this kind of the same way. They have the kid Tiago Splitter who plays outstanding defense, and Tim Duncan is still Tim Duncan. The crafty matchups between Pau Gasol and Tim Duncan go back way back. And between those two, I'm going to take the Spurs' overall team and ability to score and play defense over the Lakers. You know, you never know what you're going to get from Kobe. He could give you 35 a night. Yeah. Yeah, all right. The West is murkier, as you've said. Let's move on to uh, the first-round matchups and possible possible value with first-round betting.